What could be more strange than a giant killer bird that didn't fly? Australia had the answer. A huge carnivore called a giant butcher. Museum workers struggle to piece together a mega predator that once ruled the animal world. The largest carnivore to roam this island continent was a gigantic lizard. Its name is Megalania prisca, or giant ancient butcher. Besides its enormous size, little is certain about the giant lizard. It may have lived until quite recently, about 30,000 years ago when Aborigines were already in Australia. If that is right, it would have taken more than a boomerang to fend off an attack from this mega predator. There is a relative of Megalania alive today. It gives us a good idea how the giant lizard might have behaved. This mini Megalania also lives on an island. Isolated by sea barriers, the lizard survives as top predator. The Komodo dragon is a monitor lizard native to the Indonesian island of Komodo and its neighbors. It grows to about two and a half meters long and weighs around 70 kilograms, 90 after a good meal. It has a local reputation as a man-eater. One incident involved a European tourist. No one knows if the dragon did the killing or just the eating. The cold-blooded metabolism of reptiles is well suited to the tropics. The intense heat of the midday sun makes the dragon alert and ready for action. Over short distances, the dragon can run as fast as a human, but it prefers ambush. It's an efficient hunter. Its messy bite causes maximum damage and bleeding. Its saliva harbors 52 types of bacteria. 47 are toxic. If the dragon's prey doesn't die from blood loss, it will probably die from infection. It's quite likely that all of these traits were shared by Megalania. But Megalania was twice as big as the Komodo. Australia's giant lizard was six meters long and weighed over half a ton. Megalania's world would not be a pleasant place for humans. But our modern world might suit it very well. We just might become items on their menu. Established suburbs are the preferred habitat. The landscaping is mature, so there are plenty of places to hide. When the dry winds blow, the waterhole is a good place for hunting. Megalania knows from experience that thirsty animals will go there to drink. All it takes is the patience to wait it out until the prey becomes distracted and careless.
Megalania's metabolism is extremely efficient. It can go for long periods without eating. Unlucky that today it was hungry.